Welcome to Janbas Training. Let's get started with your Salesforce career with this introductory video. So you might be wondering, why should I watch this video? What's in it for me? So in this particular video, we are going to cover the basics of Salesforce.com. We are going to tell you what Salesforce.com is and many interesting facts about Salesforce. The job markets, trends, and why you kind of hear the Salesforce word everywhere. We're going to take you through the learning path and we're going to show you how easy it's to become a Salesforce developer. And not only that, you'll get a very quick hands-on session on Salesforce. We're going to make you sign to a developer edition and then kind of go around the setup, the coding part, how it looks like. We're going to brief you on the Salesforce certifications too. And then we are going to tell you why Jan Bask training is the place you need to go to accelerate your Salesforce learning and quickly become a Salesforce professional. Before we delve into details, let's get to know some Salesforce trivia that might get you excited about Salesforce and the video itself. So first of all, let's answer this question. Why? Why should I learn Salesforce? Why is there so much buzz around it? And what's in it for you, for the developer? So first of all, Salesforce is a cloud computing company. And you know, cloud computing is the next big thing. Point number two, Salesforce is a customer relationship management system. And trust me, every big company out there has a CRM and no company can live without CRM. Now, Salesforce is in a unique position wherein it combines a cloud and a CRM. So technically, it's a cloud-based CRM and that's in itself makes it a powerhouse. Then, currently, Salesforce is being used by a huge number of client lists. You know, you name the big companies they are on Salesforce, PG, Morgan Stanley, State Street, Bank of America, Google, you name it, the other. And, you know, it's not restricted by domains, the functional domains. It's there in the banking domain. It's there in retail. It's there in the government. It's there in healthcare, media, etc. Isn't that interesting? And one more interesting thing about Salesforce or the uniqueness of Salesforce is the ease of learning Salesforce. Unlike most of languages, Salesforce is something which you can pick up pretty quickly and straight away start developing useful business apps. Of course, of course, you need the right guidance and that's why we Janvask are here to help you out. In Salesforce, you can build apps without writing a single line of code. So all these people who are coding, you know, this is interesting. You can write business apps without writing a single line of code just with configuration. Additionally, if you are a coder who loves coding, there's something in it for you also. You can write custom business logic using Apex, develop wonderful UI using Visual Force, and then, you know, Show off your UI skills with the latest lightning framework. So to summarize, whether you are a coder or you are a non-coder, Salesforce has something for everyone. Agreed that Salesforce is a wonderful thing to be in and it's very easy to learn Salesforce. But what's on it for a developer, for an individual? Why should he go for Salesforce when there are so many myriad languages available? So here are some of the reasons. The market is in huge need of Salesforce professionals. In fact, the research by IDC claims that there will be close to 1.9 million Salesforce jobs created by 2020. So the need for Salesforce developers, Salesforce admins and Salesforce architects is growing. Second thing, Salesforce has a very nice, vibrant and a very helpful community. Trust me, if you're stuck in a particular coding problem in Salesforce, just post your question out there in community and the entire community will be out there to help you out. Third thing, 
equal opportunity for coders and non coders as discussed previously whether you love coding or you don't love coding or you want to get into coding or you want to get out of coding you can still be in salesforce and develop beautiful custom apps and help business Now let's understand the different Salesforce career paths that are available and how do you go about achieving them. The different career paths that are available in Salesforce are you can become a Salesforce administrator, you can become a Salesforce developer or you can become a Salesforce consultant and finally you can become a Salesforce technical architect. So as a Salesforce administrator you will be basically working on configuration related tasks. You won't be writing code. All you would be doing is developing business apps through clicks. Then as a Salesforce developer, you would be extending the Salesforce functionality using custom code. For example, you will be using Apex language to write business logic or develop custom UIs through Visual Force and Lightning. As a Salesforce consultant, you know both. You are an expert. You know the business side of Salesforce and you know the administration and development. You basically sit with the clients and map their business problems onto Salesforce and how Salesforce can solve their business problems. You determine that. Salesforce technical architect is a big guy. He basically understands the Salesforce in its entirety and he develops solutions so that those are scalable and you know he develops the security model and he solves complex problems when things get stuck so with Jan Basque in the first and second week will take you through the Salesforce administration so here we'll take you through how to develop Salesforce apps through clicks we'll take you through the security model Salesforce security model workflows reports and dashboards and other things which you can do just through click now once you are comfortable with salesforce administration and the salesforce environment we'll take you through the salesforce development we'll teach you how to extend salesforce functionality through custom code using apex we'll teach you how to develop new uis in accordance with the business requirement using visual force pages then in the next week we'll introduce you to lightning which is the new framework new ui framework introduced by salesforce and how you can develop single page apps using salesforce lightning and then week five we'll brief you about salesforce clouds and products salesforce has different clouds like service cloud sales cloud marketing cloud we'll take you through that and then will brief you also about data migration and reporting and analytics and you know deployment and then all this will be done with real time project keeping in mind that once students come out of Janbas training they would be interview ready they would be able to ace the interview they would be able to clear salesforce certifications and solve salesforce problems like a boss. Okay, now let's quickly go through a Salesforce tour. In this tour, we'll get to know how the Salesforce development environment looks like. So, first, we need to sign for a developer edition. Go to www.developer.salesforce.com. Sign up, fill all the fields, enter your email address, verify your email link, and there it is. You will have your own developer edition to play around. So, once you sign up for your developer edition, you will be redirected to a page, something of this sort. This is the Salesforce Lightning interface. But before we get our hands on the lightning interface, we have to learn the Salesforce Classic. So let's go and switch to Salesforce Classic. Just click on this particular icon and say switch to Salesforce Classic. 
Now once you do that, you will be redirected to the Salesforce classic user interface. So we can see, you know, this is the Salesforce classic user interface. Here you can see the various Salesforce apps, whether it's the sales cloud, service cloud, or other custom apps you build. You can, these are the tabs within the apps. You can add custom tabs. You can add tabs to your apps. For example, let's go and say customize my tabs. And let me add the accounts cases tab. So these are the account objects and the case objects. So these tabs are added and once you can click on this particular tabs and access the records or the object. So that's how the objects, custom objects or standard objects can be accessed in Salesforce. Now let's go to the setup menu. The setup menu is a place wherein you'll find all the Salesforce features. The setup menu can be found in the left hand side. Any Salesforce features whether existing or whether something they introduce in the future can be found in this particular left hand side menu. So you can go here say develop and you can develop Apex classes, you can develop visual first components, you can develop visual first pages or even lightning components, you can access it from them. You can drop down here create, you can create apps, you can create objects, tabs, anything. So this is the Salesforce classic user interface. Now let's understand how and where we write custom code in Salesforce. When I mean custom code, it's the business logic code which is Apex, the UI code which is Visual Force, and the framework, the latest UI framework that is Lightning. So in order to develop an Apex code, you go to the develop over here and click on Apex classes. Once you click on Apex classes, you'll be redirected to a new page wherein you can create a new Apex class. So the syntax of Apex code is something of this sort. This is similar to the syntax of that of Java. And this is how you write. You, we have a class. It's based on OOPS concept again. So we have a class and object model. So in this particular case, we have the hello world class. And then we have the hello world constructor and it's just printing out hello world. That's how you write the Apex code. The UI code in Salesforce is written using the Visual Force pages. So in order to develop a Visual Force page, you again go to the develop menu and then click on Visual Force pages. A sample Visual Force code looks something of this sort. It consists of a bunch of tags. These are the tags which is similar to that of XML. So, but they are prefixed with Apex. And this is how you basically write a Visual Force code. This particular piece of code is just printing hello world on the page, on the UI. The last part of the coding is how we write the Lightning components. Let's go to the developer console. A typical Lightning component looks something of this sort. It again consists of tags which look like XML tags and this is basically a framework lightning framework which is similar to angular and it helps us develop neat and decoupled UI in order to develop single page applications and the syntax looks something of the sort. Salesforce offers a wide range of products. The sales cloud product is used to capture the leads and convert them into opportunities and eventually close the deals. Service Cloud is used to provide customer service. The Community Cloud is used to build Salesforce communities that help the partners and other people get involved with the Salesforce through community. The Marketing Cloud basically handles the marketing requirements for a company. Salesforce Bardot handles B2B marketing. The Commerce Cloud is basically a recent acquisition by Salesforce of a company called Demandware and it basically helps in setting up e-commerce sites. The Wave Analytics helps in analyzing data. IoT Cloud is basically a mix of Internet of Things with Salesforce. Health Cloud caters to the healthcare industry. And the app cloud is basically 
wherein Salesforce is available as platform as a service and you can develop your apps on Salesforce. Salesforce certifications. Salesforce has a lot of certifications that help improve your understanding of the platform and trust me Salesforce certifications are very important and they're highly valued. So after training with Jan Basque, you can easily plan to get certified as a Salesforce administrator, app builder and platform developer with certifications. The reason you should get certified is because you get recognized in the Salesforce ecosystem which gives you credibility as a Salesforce developer and it also helps you explore the various aspects of developing on Salesforce and you will be in a better position to solve Salesforce problems or business problems using Salesforce. And as you go on learning, as, as you go on digging deep into Salesforce, you can even plan on completing the advanced Salesforce certifications. So why, why Jan Basque training is going to help you in your Salesforce journey? How is Jan Basque going to act as a catalyst? For you to become a Salesforce developer. Point number one. In real world scenario, we people generally don't discriminate between administration or development. So you got in order to be a successful Salesforce professional, you got to be knowing both things. And here in Jan Basque, we'll make sure you do that. We'll teach you both administration and development. We'll start slowly with the Salesforce navigation, configuration, and then build on from there. Then we'll teach you Apex, Visual Force, and Lightning, so that you can write custom code to extend Salesforce functionality. We are not just gonna bore you with theory. We'll make sure whatever we are teaching, you will have hands-on implementation. You will go and implement the configuration task or the coding task in your Salesforce developer org will ensure that you'll gain confidence with our senior Salesforce trainers and you'll ace your Salesforce certifications. Throughout the course, after completing a certain set of modules, we'll have mini projects. These mini projects will help you to gain confidence and reinforce the learning. And then finally, we'll have a final project that mirrors the business scenarios that happens in day-to-day -day world. So once you come out of Chandra Salesforce training, you can say that, you know, you are now a confident Salesforce professional. Hope this excites you to pursue Salesforce as a career. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and enroll for the class with Jan Bass training. I'm looking forward to meeting you all in the class. Thank you. Jan Bass training. Learn and grow.